Hello there. We're here to talk about the Growing Good course that's been produced by the Church Urban Fund. And I'm delighted to be joined this morning by Andy and by Emma, who are both leading churches that have delivered the Growing Good course. So, but it would be good to know your context first. So Emma, tell us a little bit about the context in which you've delivered the course. Yep, yeah, so I minister in Stady Bridge, uh, St Paul's Church, Stady Bridge. Stady Bridge is a old mill town, so we suffer with historic deprivation caused by lack of employment when all the mills closed. Um, around our particular church, we are in quite have a quite high level of deprivation. The church itself is thriving and growing, but we are looking at how we can change and engage with our community in a better way. Great. And Andy? So we're also East Manchester in a deprived area as well, bottom 20% nationally, and some real pockets of deprivation as well, bottom 4%. And we have a, yeah, a thriving large congregation who are really quite compassionate about um, others in need. And so there's a, a real kind of urge towards helping um, needs in the community. Great. Great. So Andy, tell us about what was it, what was it that drew you to the, the growing good material? So I suppose last year when fuel and food poverty were becoming uh, common in the headlines, we realised as the church community that we needed to do something. Um, so we kind of had a ministry in mind, but we wanted to take a team through some training in order to set a culture before we actually launched the new ministry. Uh, so when we saw the Growing Good course, we realised it was uh, just what we needed. Great. And Emma? Yeah, so I'd come across the Growing Good course online. I thought it looked interesting. And as it's a course that looks at how to engage church community with its local community and make those links, as, as that's something that we needed to work on as a church, so it, it tied in perfectly to where we were at as a church. Right. And Emma, what, tell us about the themes that resonated most, which were the best bits of the course? For us, the best bit of the course, well it was all good, but the, the bit that we really needed to hear as a church was about hospitality and about the way we welcome people and how we go about that. Um, and as a church that has always prided itself on offering good hospitality, actually there's some lessons for us to learn in how we actually meet and greet people and how we welcome people and um, connect with them. That's great. Well, the cake and the coffee this morning is very, very good. So you obviously learned, learned a lot there. But Andy, what about you? So, yeah, I mean, there were six sessions. They were all brilliant. Um, started off with actually helping us realise all the things that we were doing, perhaps, that we hadn't actually realised. Um, but again, I think it was session three, which was on hospitality, uh, which was for us the most useful. Um, it just helped us frame or, or set really a culture that we were wanting to embed with the team. Um, and particularly around three, three points on the course, which um, to guard against being paternalistic and not just do it for the community, but do ultimately with the community. Um, to guard against being incomplete. So. Although we wanted to bless the community with, with all sorts of practical help, uh, we also wanted our faith to be very uh, front and centre. I think the things that we learned through the course embedded things in the team that we then implemented in the course. Things like, um, you know, including, obviously, uh, initially people were, were, were our guests, but ultimately including them as, as part of the team and getting them involved as well. That's so if, if there is a church out there who's thinking they would like to consider running the Growing Good course, what would you say to them? What tips would you give to them? For us, it was just an off-the-shelf course that worked brilliantly. So it's all online, the videos are very engaging, there's Bible study, there's prayer, there are questions to work through, sort of activities to do together as, as a group. So it kind of just leads itself, as long as you've got a facilitator that's happy to kind of work the, um, lead the, the group through, it's a really easy course to run without too much preparation and input. Brilliant.